at first I was pleased with being able to be um, not myself at the beginning of college and, and, and sort of be hardly going to class and doing drugs and, and sleeping around a little bit, I guess. And just like people were saying, be cool. It was the way that I felt in my mind that I, this is how you have to grow up to be at this age. You know, you have to let go of these ideals and you have to, I stopped believing in God and I stopped doing all these things. And um, I didn't even know anything about Keep in mind, I was still smoking tons of pot, and I, I had gone through that depression in high school, which, which was triggered by this girl, well, my love for this girl that I was uh, unrequited. But I didn't know until much later that I was bipolar. And, um, and so at this whole entire time, I had been, um, especially in college when it started to become all day, every day, that I was, I was self-medicating and had been for, for years with pot and um, really just weed all day. And, you know, I was drinking a lot and experimenting with other drugs. And, um, but mostly just pot because anytime I would feel that low, bipolar, there's, there's highs and lows. And anytime I felt that low, I would just smoke to, to make it go high. And that would bring another even deeper low. And uh, that plus not being uh, happy with myself you know, being in college, I really wanted to be in a band, and I wouldn't admit it to myself until late in the game. 